Dr. Kepinger, you know, as I walked up to the building, I was very impressed just with, you know, what's happening out here. Uh, and uh, I know every time I pass by here, it seems like there's another building that's springing up. <laughs> and I know you have two new ones, uh, the Eye Institute and the Dental Clinic. And we're right now we're in the Eye Institute. Tell me, uh, if you would please, how does this Eye Institute compare with other facilities in, out in the field? I think the Eye Institute is something that's quite unique to Glendale. And I'm very excited about it. Because while we are educating third and fourth year optometry students here, the whole service at the Eye Institute is very unique compared to what you might get if you go to just an optometrist in town or in a, a store or in a mall because we're very comprehensive. You know, one of the things that I think we all take for granted is our eyesight until all of a sudden something goes bad. And so we have services that will take care of an infant who might have lazy eyes when they're born, mm -hmm. and we can have a child as young as six months old come in and have their eyes checked at a very reasonable rate. And if there is something, the parents can have exercises to help that baby. Mm -hmm. We have pediatric care, and then we have low vision for people that have either had head, head injuries or they, they're losing their vision or they're having macular degeneration. We actually have an entire area to help them and find the right tools that make them able to be very independent, live on their own, and manage the, their loss of eyesight. So it's a much more comprehensive exam and a comprehensive service that you would find elsewhere. And at the same time, it's part of the university. So the people that are taking care of you mm -hmm. are both academic as well as practitioners. And so they have a whole different perspective of total care for the individual. Well, this, you know, very surprising to me to hear that six months old, the babies, they can be uh, examined and determine if they have any problems at the that's you know, right. young tender age. That's, that's great. It is. Now the interesting thing is we put them on the floor and the optometrist goes to them. We don't try to put them in a chair like <laughs> they would you and I. Wow. But it is, it's important that people know that they can help that child, mm -hmm. especially if the, the vision is not coming in the way it should. And how many students do you have in the uh, program right now? Well the class size is 50 each year. And the optometry program is a four-year doctorate degree. Mm -hmm. So we had 50 in the first year. The second year students, the second class, the cohort, is actually ready to graduate into the clinic soon. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're recruiting the third year class. So we've got two full years before we graduate our first class. But it's a four-year program, and I know the students are very excited about coming into their clinical years. Wow. That's that's really very interesting. Mm -hmm. It is. It's very exciting. Uh, the other thing that uh, that comes to mind is, you know, th this is our. You, s you said this is the first class to come into the eye to institute. To, to come into the eye institute, and, and you mentioned, of course, about the babies being examined. What other unique features do you have here that are different from, say, other places? Well, we have very advanced equipment. And one of the things I think you'd find really interesting is if we were to take you to some of our diagnostic areas, we actually can do an MRI of the eye. And so the x-ray, the MRI, some of our high-tech equipment, you would never find in a local optometrist's office because it's very state-of-the-art, very expensive equipment. And we can actually be a resource for local optometrists who need to send their patient here for advanced testing. And how, do you, how does, you know, an individual that wants to come here, how do they uh, find out about it? I mean, I, I, I know there have been some articles in the newspaper, but Correct. do they come and make the, they call and make an appointment? They can find us on a website. They can call and make an appointment. Um, one of the things we're very excited about is that because we're an academic institution and we're part of our community, our rates are very reasonable. We want people to come in and have their eyes examined. So our rates are really 50% of usual and customary. So it's very affordable. There's no reason why someone can't come in and make sure that their eyes are doing well. And too often, people don't get their eyes checked every year. 
And if they don't bother them, they just kind of ignore them until maybe they're going to have a problem. Which reminds me. Is it time? <laughs> I'm way overdue. Well, well, we may make an appointment before you leave today. You know? uh, is there anything else you can add that, to, about the... Uh, I think that, I think that our community will just love it. You know, we're sitting here in the area that you can buy glasses. And amazingly enough, we carry more than a thousand different frames. And it's everything from very, very inexpensive frames to some that are designer frames. And we're doing it because we know people come in, and if they think it's time for a new set of glasses, mm -hmm. they want options. And we are able to take care of them. We even carry children's frames so that we know that we can help everyone. I think I'll be coming back. I think that's great. We'd love to have you. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you so much for being here.